Well, come on, get on, go on. Now, this might look like a Brainiac's day out, but don't be fooled, because today we're going to unravel the mysteries of motion sickness. This may well get a bit messy, because this is the science of sick. Motion sickness is the nausea, disorientation and fatigue caused by continuous head motion. It's usually experienced as travel sickness, which is caused by the lurching of the vehicle as it brakes and then accelerates again. We're looking at five second intervals. So that's accelerate, two, three, four, and then brake again. That's the best way because effectively you're kind of mimicking the rolling of a ship, if you like. Basically, I'm making everybody seasick. But here's the bit I love best. Apparently, as the driver, I'm not affected by it because I know when it's going to break and I can anticipate it and I know when it's going to accelerate so I can be braced and ready for it. Apparently, we could do this all day. The Brainiacs would be sick as pigs and I wouldn't be affected at all. Of course, it wouldn't be a coach trip without packed lunches. Ah, mini scotch eggs, mashed up egg coated in bits of pig. Now, that is sick food. The first sign of motion sickness, oh, sorry, folks, just breaking there, is blood draining from the face. So look out for anyone pale. Might also see yawning and, uh, oh, sorry about that one, and restlessness, and maybe a sweat forming on the upper lip and on the forehead. And finally, puking. Hold on. Oh, damn. One in four people suffer from motion sickness, so with five brainiacs, it's only a matter of time before someone blows chunks. But why wait when there's a way to make them even sicker? It's common knowledge that reading in a car or on a coach makes you feel sick. So, brainiacs, take out your reading matter and start reading. Take away food menus, the perfect reading material if you want to get the juices flowing. But there is more to it than that, because as these brainiacs read, their brains are getting confused. Their eyes are telling their brains that because the menus aren't moving, neither are they. But the balance circuits in their inner ears are reporting movement all over the place. The result? A brain that doesn't know if it's moving or not, and a motion-sick brainiac. Oh, there's a yawn, a classic sign of sickness, and, yeah, well, there's no clearer sign than that. There's no doubting these brainiacs really are a sickly lot. But what about me? No sweating, a colourful complexion, I still look fabulous. So there you go, conclusive proof that no matter how badly you drive or how ill your passengers feel, drivers do not get travel sick.